The white body kit makes this rear look extremely fat. You can have dinner with your entire family on this. AAA automotive. <laughs> Hello guys, I am back. Today welcoming you all with this. Guys, look at it. In today's video, I will be presenting you one of only 10 ever built. The GT900 Rocket by Brabus, okay? And this is the second customer car that I'm filming for you. As you guys might remember, I filmed the full black version, the press car, and the second press car, which was finished in stealth gray. Then I filmed the first customer car in London with Zen car driver, which was finished in a complete black matte finish, which looks extremely good. And here for the first time ever, I'm filming a full black gloss one, but with orange details. And as you can also see in the interior, it's fully customized by Brabos in orange. So let's get right into it and start talking about this beauty right in front of me. Here we have the GT900 Brabos Rocket, one of 10 only. And yes, the two press cars are not included in these 10, so there are 12 in total. This car is based on the AMG GT63S. And what has Brabos done is, they took the four liter AMG engine, the V8 by Turbo One, and extended the displacement from a four liter to a 4.5 liter, pushing it up to 900 horsepower, guys. This thing is extremely fast. And yeah, less talking, let's just get right into it and start with a quick walk around. Afterwards, we will be doing a sound check for you and also a bit of driving so let's get right into it guys so look at the front this thing is just brutal at this point also special thanks to triple a automotive in abu dhabi for providing us with this beautiful car this car is actually for sale so i think it's one of the only gt 900 brabus rockets that are for sale out there so if you're interested hit them up the link is my description let's get it on and start talking about the front this thing is extremely brutal i mean the base gt 63s already looks extremely sporty but with this one brabus has managed to build a proper beast okay first of all as you see since we have a rocket here, we have a wide body kit by Brabus, making it way wider and more sportier. The front headlights are the base and stock GT specific multi-beam headlights, also with carbon details which I really love. The front grille is modified by Brabo's full black finish. And since we have orange details here, we have also orange signature details on the grille and on the double B badge on the front. We have these huge intakes, full finished in carbon fiber, made by Brabo's. Also the front bumper, look, They've removed the entire part and created a full carbon fiber custom made. This is so beautiful and fits the look of the GT in specific very well, okay? So all in all, guys, how do you like the front and the spec of this? Talking about the side, as I mentioned, we have a wide body kit on this GT900 rocket and it looks absolutely beautiful. In addition with the black exterior paint, wide body, the rocket specific aero discs and the orange interior so let's talk about the wheels we have here here we have the mono block edition z 21 inches in the front these are made by brabos and since we have a rocket we have the aero disc on this wheel fitted with a nice orange also the brakes are finished in orange which gives it a perfect touch and something that most of you guys don't know is that the inside here is finished in Kevlar. Jörn Ganda, the CTO of Bravos, has managed to do this and it gives this car an extremely cool look, very nice in the details. This is good when you go above 300 kph or something, when it gets really hot in here, this is very good material to use. On the side by Turbo 900 badge, also orange touches, which I love. Side mirrors, carbon fiber, the orange interior, beautiful. But yeah, guys, in the rear, also here, 22 inches, which gives this a very cool look also with the bigger tires, the aero disc and the white body kit, extremely nice. So let's talk about the rear, guys. And this is by far my favorite part to talk about when it comes to GT900 rockets by Brabos. All in all, I mean, the white body kit makes this rear look extremely fat, I'm honest with you, but it still looks very sporty in addition with the rear spoiler, which is finished in 
Carbon fiber and just look at it. I mean, look at it. You can have dinner with your entire family on this. I, I always say it and I've never seen such a big carbon fiber rear wing on any Mercedes saloon. Maybe just the GT Black Series has a bigger one than this. Also, orange details on this. The rocket badge, orange details. Bravo's double B, Bravo's badge as well, looking very cool. The exhaust tips, as you see here, rounded shapes. We have the carbon fiber finish diffuser. Then we have the black gloss, in addition with the carbon fiber matte finish and the titanium exhaust made by Bravo's. All in all, how do you guys like the rear? of this Bravos GT900 rocket? Leave it in the comment section below. So it's now time to talk about the interior, but before we step inside, first of all, we have new entrance lights. I've never seen this on any other GT900 rocket. These look extremely good. And AMG specific key, but as soon as you turn it around, we have the Bravos high performance automobile badge in the rear, unlocking this beast and stepping inside the GT900 rocket. So let's start talking about this interior and as you can see it's pretty special i mean i've seen multiple gt900 rockets finished in like full black interiors which aren't yeah you know that exciting but with this one full orange leather finish made by bravos but before we step inside let me give you a look on this door panel full orange leather finish as you see a black stitching also with a nice contrast here extremely nice carbon fiber finish bormester speaker covers we have this custom stitching made by Brabos in Bottrop. Also everything here you can imagine is finished in leather. Even the inside of it is finished in leather with a nice stitching. I love it. Brabos entrance board. We have the Brabos rocket specific floor mats. Even these are made in orange leather with the special stitching. And yeah, let's just step inside and let me give you a closer look. So here we are now inside the GT900 rocket, starting with the animation of the GT63S but yeah guys just look at this let me just start the ignition for you as soon as I press this once you have the ambient colors twice we have the buttons here always keep that in mind and the car is smelling extremely nice I swear AAA automotive GT900 is the best smelling out there full orange leather interior finish black stitching even the flat bottom AMG steering wheel which was my favorite flat bottom Brabos leather here. Everything in here is made by Brabos. Masterpiece badges even on the seats as you see here with the Konstantin Buschmann signature. The Rocket 900 on the seats. Nice contrast stitching and the leather finish is just absolutely phenomenal. I'm honest with you. Even the top here, orange Alcantara, Dynamica finish, black stitching, everything you can imagine redone by Brabos. Even the rear passenger seats have nice seats as you see here, Rocket 900. With this we have the two seater option in the back. As you see here we have the display, even this is still not uncovered. We have the cup holders and everything in here finished in orange leather everything else seems kind of stock but the cool thing on this one is that we have the facelifted gt 63s base which means that we have the mbux and this is touch also with the touchpad here is really cool to have uh, also with the mbux hey mercedes there we go and all in all guys how do you like this interior spec on this gt900 rocket but now guys it's time for something you've all been waiting for okay the only thing that's missing here in my eyes is the steering wheel buttons okay but all in all still beautiful interior let's just switch it to sport plus for you which automatically opens up the exhaust valves and now it's time to start it up and give it some revs okay so put on a brake start stop is over here okay listen to this Okay, okay, decent, but let me give you some refs, listen to this. beautiful sound amazing sound i love it i love it and we will be also cruising around this underground garage and give you some nice sound from the inside so but before we do that let's step outside and give you another sound check okay let's go so guys now it's time for a proper sound check and it's time to start up this beast as we are inside an underground garage the sound will be even better so let's go
guys. It's like a thunderstorm. It's like gunshots, you know, always banging and popping. How do you guys like this sound? Is it too much? Is it perfect? Leave it in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and do a bit of a driving and finish it off with a resume. Let's go. So we are now inside the GT900 rocket. Ooh. We will be just giving you a quick drive in the underground garage. I will be lowering the window for you. As this car is still not registered, we can't uh, drive it outside, but I still wanted to give you the feel and wanted to take you part of experiencing this, you know. Still, I need to be really careful with it. This is not my car. <laughs> wow, what a sound. I mean, this side of the underground garage is pretty empty. Wow, what a sound. Love it, I love it. It's so much fun. Even though I can't really push it still, it's so fun. <laughs> wow. It's pretty fast, you know, it's like, I mean, you can't really unleash the beast because you're still in an underground garage, but I mean, if we had the Nürburgring or the Autobahn, ooh, this car is made for it, you know, this car is definitely made for it. Let's go. This is so fun, honestly. The sound is really, really good. It sounds even better than the press car we had back in the days. So guys, how do you like this interior? How do you like the sound of this beast? Leave it in the comment section below. So that's it basically for today's video, guys. How do you like this spec of this GT900 rocket? Leave it in the comment section below. Should I go out? and search for the other rockets. Which spec do, do you prefer? The gray one, the gloss black with the red details or the gloss black with the orange details or the black matte with the red details? Leave it in the comment section below. Special thanks to AAA Automotives. As I mentioned, this is still for sale. So if you want it, go ahead and check it out. Which car should I review next? Leave it in the comment section below. Looking forward to see you all again and wish you an amazing day. I will be back.